Hi, my name is Avery, but I go by Suavecito, and I'm a horror content creator. Welcome to my series, 31 Nights of Horror, where I play 31 different horror games for the month of October. So I'm going to show my calendar of the games I'm going to be playing for October, starting with October 1st. So I'm just going to get into it. Stay tuned. Okay, this is the list. The very, very list that I've created. So on October 1st, we are going to play some indie horror games. The list is too big for me to tell you guys, but it's a lot of games like Ichigo.io. Itch I don't know how to pronounce it, but from there, from other developers, I just want to play as many indie horror games to start off October fresh. I heard this game, Made of Scare, was amazing. So I have to try it out on the 2nd of October. On the 3rd of October, I got to try the back rooms. The back rooms is the back rooms. You're never going to escape. You gotta. You gotta. On October 4th, we will be playing... The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. So The Walking Dead 2 or Chapter 2 is coming out soon, hopefully by the end of the year or the beginning of next year. But so far, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners has been such an amazing VR experience. And I can't wait to continue it down the road just because the game's so good. Like who doesn't want to fight zombies in VR? On the 5th of October is Summer of 58. And you want to talk about indie horror games? Play that without no lights. I guarantee you're gonna have nightmares. Number six is a classic. I think it's a classic. I mean, even though the game came out what, like five years, six years ago, I think it's a classic because it just it felt different. It felt like oh horror. Blair Witch. The game gives you creeps. It gives me creepy crawlies, man. All right, number seven. Uh, maybe this is the classic for other people. Feel free to debate all this stuff, but I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Dead Space. Dead Space Remake is coming in 2023. I have to add Dead Space to the list because it's just another classic, probably top 10 favorite horror game of all time. Gotta put it in there. And next to that on October 8th is Outlast. And if you guys haven't played Outlast, I promise you this game will give you nightmares. Stop what you're doing. Pause the video and play Outlast. That's all I'm going to say. Number 9, on October 9th, we are going to play The Last of Us 2. Maybe not horror to some, more of a thriller or, or survival horror. But there's something about The Last of Us 2 that gives you that, that ender... Oh, what was the word I'm trying to think of? That ever-ending, never-ending fear of not having enough resources and dying to every creature and known to man. So that's the last of us too. I can't put it better words than that. On the 10th, top 10 favorite horror game of all time, Amnesia, The Dark Descent. I'm not gonna say anything else other than that. On number 11, The Walking Dead, a telltale game. You know, honestly, it's for the story richness of it. And honestly, they, to me, excuse me, that game has some scares to it. But gotta add it to the list. And number 12, October 12th, you can't not play a game like Five Nights at Freddy's by yourself. It's one of those games that you have to play it in October, but you're gonna regret it. A lot of people get scared of the game. I get scared of the game. I'm not looking forward to it too well. The number 13, Man of Madon. The anthology series has been very good. They came out. I mean, I don't know what the difference between anthology and then like the quarry. Are they different video games? But they feel the same. Story-based game, basically you got to make decisions. You're going to kill everybody. You're going to save everybody. It's simple. Number 14. And this game is another indie game that I think doesn't get enough love. Song of Horror. That's all I'm going to say. Just come check it out if you want to watch it. On the 15th. I mean, we did Outlast 1. Now we got to do Outlast 2. You got to. You know, you can't have... It's like you can't have peanut butter jelly and have peanut butter without the jelly. You need to play 1 and 2. So I'm going to do that. On the 16th of October, we're halfway through. Alan Wake. 
you got a flashlight and you're facing darkness and you got bullets that's it <laughs> you gotta you gotta kill the darkness <laughs> on the 17th of october poppy playtime why can something be so cuddly and beautiful and cute be so fucking vicious and disgusting and scary as fuck excuse my language on number 18 a plague tale vacuum i hope i pronounced that right is dropping that day on the game pass and believe me i want to have gameplay on that game i'm currently playing a plague tale innocence so i'm gonna guess hopefully the second one is as good as the first one on the 19th of october resident evil 4 vr i mean as much as we love resident evil 4 what's better than that playing in vr because you need to see those motherfuckers in your face <laughs> in your face all right on the 20th of October, on the 20th, the 20th, The Evil Within. It's like Resident Evil, spinoff, yada, 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 all that stuff. But the game's good. It's one of my favorites. So I'm going to play it. Scorn comes out the 21st. And if you haven't seen the trailer for the game, go look at it. It's weird and disgusting and stuff. Like, I don't know. What, I can't really explain it because the game doesn't really tell you anything. Uh, I'm going to move on. On number 21st, I lied, 22nd, Visage. Probably my top five favorite horror game of all time. Just because it's so scary. Like, the first 10 seconds of the game, the cutscene, you're murking your family. And then you kill yourself. Like, what? What? Only 3rd of October will be Dead Space 2. Like the peanut butter jelly reference, you gotta have the jelly. Can't play Dead Space without Dead Space 2. Getting ready for the re remake of Dead Space. Gotta. You gotta. And for all my church lovers, the Exorcist Legion VR, I'm gonna be praying to the gods. I'm gonna be throwing holy water on everything. Best believe. I'm going to save 10 Hail Marys and wiping my ass from the reference from Walking The Walking Dead? No, it's not The Walking Dead. What is it? Dawn of the Dead. I don't know why. I just, I'm having a lot of blanks. It's late at night. On the 25th of October is Tormented Souls. First scene is kind of probably nsfw and i don't know if i could show it on stream i might not be able to we'll see well, the game is crazy i think it's good honestly what the like what i said about the the peanut butter and jelly you cannot have peanut butter and jelly without one or the other so we're playing the evil within two honestly not as good as the first evil within but gotta add it to the list on the 27th probably one of the scariest indie games i've ever played from the darkness it's a quick horror game but i'm telling you it makes you regret playing horror games just in general on the 28th the release of the resident evil village dlc so stay tuned for that that game is going to be you get to play as ethan's daughter and then she has magical power so we're going to see how good that dlc is because the, the, honestly to me resident evil village was very good so Stay tuned for that. The 29th, we're getting close to Halloween. We're like two days. <sighs> this game is like 30 hours. I don't understand how it's 30 hours, but the game is truly terrifying. The Dark Occult, a.k.a. based off the Conjuring House, a.k.a. I only play this game in, <laughs> during Halloween month. I gotta. Like, I can't play it any other time because I can never play more than 10 minutes, but I'm forcing myself to do this for you guys. On the 30th, we have Madison. Yes, Madison. You're taking a picture. And the things that you take a picture are are not nice. I got fucking goosebumps talking about this. On the 31st, Halloween will be hopefully a long stream. We might make it the 30th because, you know, your boy got to go to work the next day. But the 31st. The mortuary assistant and i just looked i spelled mortuary wrong fight me i'm not i'm not the greatest i was looking i was typing in there i didn't look at the spelling errors or whatever but you work on dead bodies with spirit those supernatural shit around you happening 
And every play, game through, gameplay, game through, whatever gameplay that you do or playthrough that you do is not the same. It's not. It's not. And I'm going to dress up for Halloween. So this is my list. My beautiful list of 31 Nights of Horror. Where you can join. I'm glad you guys can ask that. I really appreciate that. 31 Nights of Horror is going to start October 1st. I'll be streaming live on Twitch and YouTube. 7 p.m. is the standard time. And if you guys want to come watch it live, feel free. But I will be uploading it on YouTube every day for the month of October. It's going to be a sick. This is my third annual year of doing it. All the way on 2020, 2020, 2021, 2020. Yeah, third annual year of horror. 31 Nights of Horror. It's going to be great. But if you're liking the content, make sure you suave subscribe to the YouTube channel. Come join the Zombie Horde. Make sure you smash or decapitate that thumbs up button. And leave a comment of your favorite horror game so I can play it in the future. Or leave a recommendation for the list to be changed because there's only three more days left. So I need to, as many recommendations as I can get. And turn on our notification bell so you know when I go live to play 31 different horror games for the month of October. That's it. That's all I got. I hope everybody has a beautiful rest of your day or if it's your morning, night, afternoon. I don't know. Words. Until next time. Stay like a zombie. I'm out of here. Peace out.